Well, full time at the Emirates Stadium, Arsenal have started the season as they mean to go on with a 2 0 win against Wolves. A lot of interesting things happened in that game, to be honest. I think we can look at it in, you know, from the first half versus the second half. We really, really had different rhythms and it kind of showed, showed me quite a lot in terms of the team and where we're at and how we're looking going on in this season. But before I begin, as always, if you are new here, please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and turn on those notifications. Let's try and aim for 100 likes. I know you gunners have got this for the first review of the first game of the season. So I want to start looking at the first half to be honest it wasn't dazzling it wasn't the best but it was kind of the half where you know it gave us so much confidence for what is going to happen next season we were slick on the ball we were you know penetrating wolves in behind the line passes but we weren't really creating clear-cut chances. I know it was much better than the second half, but if we were to be really clear, critical of um, the club and the team, we know how good we can be. It was more of a threatening, penetrative half, you know, not really clear-cut chances, not many shots on goal, but we did make so many good openings. And I think the kind of the quality in the wider areas wasn't there for the first part of the first half. I think Martinelli, again, that issue of him going on the outside, whipped in balls with his left foot, he just always hits the first man. He, he's really not comfortable when he's in wide areas, when you tell him to, you know, do a Saka type cross, uh, get to the byline, create, get that ball in, be, you know, decisive in his actions in the wide areas. Martinelli is just not really that sort of player and he's not really in the firing form to produce from those wide areas and that's no shade to him. I think Saka also did struggle in the first 10-15 minutes in being decisive with his actions. We saw the quality he has on the ball where later on where he set up Kai Havertz but I feel like our actions out wide specifically in the first half wasn't to our dazzling best and it's and it's to be expected hot day first game of the season top opposition in Wolves I think they were really good and it's just finding each other again you know the Premier League intensity is a lot different to pre-season but what I love to see is how we reacted you know constant 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 I feel like defensively we penned them in as well I think we had 24 entries into Wolves box which is an absolute joke just shows how good we are when we just have an opposition so penned in and I feel like Wolves didn't have any answer to our sort of questions and I think the goal essentially came more from the amount of pressure that we had put on them it was just a moment of brilliance from Saka finding Habits who made a brilliant one run across the defender nodded in a lovely header striker's goal something you're going to see a lot more next season I talked about in previous videos how Saka can do that long ball into the box to Kai Habits who can nod it in I feel like that is going to be a good feature going into next season going into this season because Kai Habits really does have that aerial quality and it was nice to actually see him start out at the number nine to be honest I really wanted him to be there and first game there first goal I think that's now 15 goal contributions in 13 starts at up at number nine. That's just a ridiculous, you know, sort of stats to be saying out loud. It just shows how good the guy is. And I feel like now he's going to have the momentum up top. It's going to be really, really good. And on Bukayo Saka and, um, you know, I saw so many tweets going on in Twitter during the game. People being like, Saka limping again. But he just shuts up his haters every single time. He just, so, he just has so much quality. And I said, he's going to be our top assister. And he's going to be a real, real goal scoring threat as well. Again, he's just improving season on season, being decisive. I know the first 10 to 15 minutes wasn't his best, but he grew into get it into the game, showed his quality. And ultimately, his two moments won the game. And that's how we have to look at it, to be honest. Two moments of brilliance, opening up the opposition, great strike, great ball into the box, goal. That is just Bakayo Saka. You know, the way he is as a player, the way he has as a guy as well. He just has those moments of brilliance and it opened up, you know, the Wolves defence. So it was really, really good for him. I thought Odegaard is, as well, really good on the ball. I just feel like him in the final third, it wasn't his best. There was a lot of opportunities to slide balls in. But it's just about that confidence. Be decisive. Play those balls in sometimes. I know he likes to be cute. But sometimes you can fizz those balls in. There was a beautiful couple of skills from him, as always, though. Just me being a little bit more critical because I know the levels that these players can reach. And then Thomas Partey, I think, has been a massive talking point um, on the game with Zinchenko. They weren't the best, especially in that second half. They really struggled. We saw the deficiencies of Zinchenko going backwards. We saw the deficiencies of Partey on the ball athletically as well. I've talked about this. This is the problem with playing Rice so high up where he can't get back in time. It's going to really, really, you know, expose uh Thomas Partey in the midfield and we know how good Thomas Partey can be he had of course his moments on the ball where he was really really good but again he had those moments where he was really really shady too so it's about rhythm again with Thomas Partey can he get that rhythm can he be consistently starting 
because we're going to need him at his best. And I feel like that first game is rustiness and he kind of tailed off fitness wise. Playing so, so playing a 90 minute game in the Premier League is really, really hard. But he got through it. He showed us his quality in moments. He gave the ball a lot away a lot, which will annoy Arteta. But it is what it is, to be honest. I just want to say one thing that substitution bringing on Julian Timber was really, really good. I feel like, again, those sort of changes, not because he had a brilliant individual performance. He had some brilliant skills, lost the ball a couple of times as well himself. But he just lifted did the team it was kind of now we've got this defensive security at left back now we can play our game and I was just really excited to see Julian out there again in the Premier League game look really really sharp and I hope we get to see him quite a lot this season no Calafiori quite quite interesting to be honest but I do think it was a bit too much to throw him into that high intensity Premier League game I'm sure he'll get a lot of minutes to be honest because that left back spot is for anyone to grab Timber you want it Tomiassi you want it Zinchenko you want it Calafiori you want it it's all there for you to go and try and grab because there's no guaranteed st uh, starter in that position and of course one thing again just to end off the video of course is the build-up the build-up wasn't the best in the second half and that's the left center mid and um, i think that's where marino is going to come in and play that number eight role and help us with the build-up because we really do struggle with just zinchenko Partey, saliba and gabriel in the build-up i feel like we weren't that potent and i feel like going into this season marino who's really good on the ball really good at receiving the ball on the half turn is going to really elevate us and really give us something else in that midfield area that we have been lacking but anyway Gunners, let me know your thoughts on the game kind of that sort of game where you can say first half okay wasn't the best but it was lovely to see us penetrate through wolves at times behind the line passes really good stuff second half we tailed off quite a lot but a moment of brilliance from Saka and a couple of the guys as well really solidified the game for us but until next time Gunners, peace